Well, Sunday I put the tiny house and took on a couple projects this weekend. And one of the big projects that I wanted to do is I had one of the Dutch ovens that I had started in a previous video. I took that back on and I got the whole finish off of that. That looks like it's going to actually finish up pretty nice. You can see, I don't know if the sun will let you see it, but it's, it's pretty smooth. It's not glass, but that's part of the mold that it's made from. And I think once I get a cure into it, it's going to look pretty darn good. But it's all clean. The surface is clean. We'll clean it up the rest of the way. And I think that's going to end up being a pretty good Dutch oven. Now this is another project. It's a cast iron pan that I bought at a local box store. And it was really cheap. Like 15 bucks for a set of four. And I thought, oh, that can't be that bad for cooking on the campfire. But it's always been really rough to use. Everything sticks to it. I can't get it can never get it clean it takes forever scrubbing it out and cleaning it and I'm just decided that I'm gonna take the whole surface off of it and see if I can't take a cheap pan and turn it into a good pan um, the truth of the matter is, is as I took the surface off of it I don't know how well it shows up in the light but there's huge pits from the mold and I don't know how these are pretty big pits I'm going to take the grinding wheel to it just a little bit more, but I'm not sure that you're ever really going to be able to get rid of those pits. But I think once I season it, I think it'll be better than it was, but I still don't think it's going to be very good. I think the moral of the story is cheap cast iron is cheap cast iron. My future route is going to be not grab something because it's got a good seasonal sale, but hit the antique stores that pan that wrangler pan i read it is like glass i have cooked everything in it i it basically takes a quick wipe and it's all done you can hang it back up just like my other i have an older lodge pan and it's the same way just a quick wipe and it's right back up even the toughest stuff that should stick to it doesn't this pan however the stuff that shouldn't stick to it does i think i could boil water in it it would stick to the sides but I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to keep working on it and see if I can turn it into something. We'll see the results next weekend. But crappy cast iron is crappy cast iron. So thanks for watching.